now we are going out to Van Horn Samosa. This is a paid factory at Van Horn Bob. This is the train set they use for bringing in peach to the factory. Here you can see the parcels where they cut the peach. Some of these are up to more than uh, one kilometer long and about uh, 20 meters wide and there is drainage ditches in between them. When we're doing inventory in the bog, stones are really good signs of uh, ancient activity. This is a piece of uh, sandstone and it's uh, a little bit burnt. You can see the salty part here. And we find them all over the sites. And they were used in fireplaces and, uh, and also as net sinkers. So we find them scattered in the Yitya layers here. And uh, at the small sites, we had a lot of them. So Sometimes there is uh, no flint at all, you only find stones, small pieces of stones. So when we see them, we look more carefully for flints and other stuff. This post, this post standing here marks a small site that we excavated a few years ago. It was only about uh, 3 by 2 by 4 meters something, mainly containing of charred hazelnuts. And there were only a few pieces of flints and stones. This is a part that's left from the site that we didn't excavate. And we can still find some uh, flint flakes. You see a nice piece here. And uh, there is still small pieces of uh, hazelnut shells, just charred. There were also unburnt pieces as well. They were all over. We can pick maybe about uh, 50 liters of them. So maybe it's a uh, hazelnut hazelnut processing site or a, a dump from the nearby sites of these hazelnut shells. There were no signs of uh, a fireplace or anything at the site, but as I said, they could come from a nearby sites. There is also some of these stones small pieces of stones that we find all over the sides. These are typical finds from the Yitya layers. There's a lot of burnt uh, 
wood pieces, mainly of pine wood, that were used as torches. This is not the typical type, but this could come from uh, fireplaces. It was drifting around in the water. There's a lot of these pieces. They have been uh, weathered by the actions of the waves, so they are a little bit rounded. This is a good example of a find in the bog. And the Utia layers. We often find these flint plates. Very nice. With a little bit of uh, white patina. This was a small field trip uh, with a lot of waste bog. And uh, it's not very good weather, but I bring you here in the summer when it's much nicer and better light. This is Christmas Day, and uh, it's rather late. It gets sun goes down about uh, half past three, so uh, it's a little bit dark. But. We made some nice finds.